the main story Sounds up like to oh god another fight something's popping off what is happening <laughs> What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Mav Attack. We're in here playing The Witcher, Blood and Wine. It is going down right now. Um, some people were like, Mav Attack, where the playthroughs at? You ain't played through a game in a while on the channel. What the heck is going on, man? Well, listen, I got you covered. I'm planning on playing through the main storyline of The Witcher, Blood and Wine, or trying to get as far as I can. Um, if I ever get exhausted uploading on the channel, I'll, I'll let you guys know. And I'll probably continue it in a live stream or something like that. But here today, we're going to be playing Blood and Wine. This is The Witcher 3's final expansion. Numero dos in expansions, I think. Yeah, because we had Hearts of Stone. Yeah, so this is the, the second one. Yeah. With all due ceremony, for tradition is sacred in Toussaint. All right, fine. Most honorable Geralt, slayer of monsters and all Ifels nefarious, which prey on the defenseless of this world. Whereas never have you been known to deny help to the innocent, nor leave widows and orphans to fates undeserved. Answer you now our present summons. Free us from the beast which floods our streets with blood and sows panic in the hearts of rich and poor alike. Come to our aid, Witcher. Thus humbly beseeches you the Star-Cross City's most gracious protectress, her illustrious highness, Duchess Anna Henrietta. Hmm. We go with the two song. You Shall made... you answer her call? You made me drop my croissant. Yeah, we want to. I want to hear what's up with the beast. Might be the most fervent request that I take a contract ever, and the most polite. And now we've got all that behind us. I want to hear more about this beast. Some kind of monster? Just guessing. Most assuredly, though no one has caught a good look at it as yet. Our only sure witnesses: the bodies massacred in a brutal, horrid manner. Look, some sketches drafted from descriptions given by those who claim they glimpsed. What is it? Is this a ma like a master of vampire? To my mind, these witnesses lie. How many victims so far? Two. When her grace lent of the second, she discharged what the heck? to fit you. Promise the Slenderman? of land and fortunes in gold, should you answer her summons. An ill wind blows, yeah. Geralt. The beast cannot be tracked. Folks say it wields black magic. Also, both victims were nobly born, and the start of a tourney draws near. Nah, we ain't thinking about nothing. We gonna take this contract. That's Slenderman. We got some kind of tentacle dude, and then a freaking face mouth monster. Let's go. Let's let's go. Uh, I sometimes think back to all the contracts I've ever taken from sovereigns. Can't name hardly any where I came out ahead. You cannot be thinking to refuse. Ah, <sighs> no. Just struck by a thought. How the Duchess can sometimes be... Mm, ...demanding. So you accept the contract? Excellent! We must set off at once. We long wanted this land searching for you. Yet time is of the essence. Ready to go, soon as you're packed. Ha! Ah, then post haste to Toussaint. To Toussaint! A few days later... ...we in Toussaint. Oh, it's so beautiful! It's so beautiful! the land of love and love. Oh, man. Exactly how I remembered it. Huh? Ooh, this king! You will find Beauclair has changed after these past years. Walk about when you have the chance. You will see for yourself. To me, place always seems straight out of a fairy tale. Knights errant, elven palaces. You insinuate that we are somehow odd? I shall prove you wrong. This I pledge on the heron. Oh, something popping off already? What the heck is he? You good? <laughs> Saw some David versus Goliath shit right now. Oh my lord! Look at this dude. Oh, yep, yeah, that's what you get. We about to fight him. Are we about to fight him? Oh my god. Let's ride. Yeah, I don't know why y'all sitting around. Let's go. Let's run it. Oh, you just gonna throw oh you just gonna throw the horse like that though? 
You're just gonna pick someone's fucking horse up, though? Like that? Yeah, what's up? You got a barrel on your head, biscuit head. What is he? Is he a giant? We about to fight a giant? Alright, it's popping. The Beast of Toussaint defeated the ass as a giant. Oh, shit, what? Ooh, hold up. Ooh, my man. Ooh, he about to kick the shit out of me. Alright, back up. Hold up. This dude is big as crap. Oh, damn, he does a shockwave attack? Alright, alright, come on. Come on, fat boy, run it. Come on, fat boy, run Oh, are you dead? That man just died. Oh, okay. Alright, you got knocked back, but we good. What's up? Swing. Swing, fat boy. Woo! Come on, swing. Come on, slice him up, slice him up. Now back up, now back up. Woo! Hit him with some Igni, then back up. Let's go. Woo! A little shot of Igni. Alright, oh, he didn't die, did he? No, he just he got back up. Are y'all even doing anything? Get crispy again. Okay, um, oh, he's on fire, he's on fire, he's getting crispy. Ooh, stay close, stay close. I'm going for some, going for some. He's almost dead, he's almost dead. Don't you ever, don't you ever. You know what I am? I'm Geralt of Rivia. Sit your big stupid ass down. Ooh. Big beast. Tackling it single handed, none too wise. Neither is love born of Ooh. Mr. Witcher. So, Guillaume, out with it. Which fair damsel inspired you to vow to kill that fifth? The most beautiful among them. If he wishes to guard her name a secret, he need not reveal it. Oh, the it. land of wine and lovers? You I do not know, sir, nor seem you a knight, yet still I am profoundly grateful, nay, indebted to you for your succor. This trophy, sir, is yours. The head? Glad to take the trophy you did well against the giant. I'll take the trophy. Why not? Could find someone who'll pay to buy it. Put up a good fight against the giant. Got experience battling monsters? None. In Tucson, we mostly chase bandits. But I vowed I'd bring my heart's champion the head of a monstrosity, as the famed Gottfried, known as the Giant Killer, did. You don't mean to hunt the beast, I hope. The matter's best left to Geralt. Another challenge awaits me. Yet if Geralt is the hot beast, he ought to know. It struck again. Oh. Somebody else died? The river surrendered a corpse. It washed up in the meander by the cockatrice. Damien de la Tour's guardsmen are there already, securing the area. Crime scene. Securing the area? Better go there now before they trample any tracks, manhandle any evidence. Yeah. Set forth then. I shall ride for the city to inform her gracious magnificence that Geralt has arrived. We'll meet later, near Guillaume's tent at the Tourney grounds. I shall take you then to see her grace. Let's go. All right, so we're going to go investigate the crime scene where the dude got washed up on shore and see if we can figure out something about this Slenderman. What's the beast we're about to fight? A Slenderman vampire thing? And we're cutting that thing's head off. That's grouse. Hey, leveling up and all that. All right, so let me go ahead and add this skill point real quick. All right, so done deal. So now we're going to head on to uh, wherever that dead body is. And we're going to follow Milton down Brave there kid, Guillaume. all right well anyway since the dialogue got cut off or whatever happened ah. let's just take in the countryside let's just look hey, can we just look for a second this game is very beautiful can't get used to the way you Ooh. knights talk especially how you switch back and forth between flowery and well near normal we are knights errant in the service of her gracious magnificence when we appear in her name or speak on her behalf we are bound by tradition and there's going to be, by the way, there's going to be a lot of dialogue and a lot of talking and stuff. So I'm going to try to do my best to not talk while it's going on. And then, um, you know, shut my shut my mouth. Also, I try to go transparent a little bit on screen so you can see all of what's happening. But I still try to be there. All right, so we're pulling up on the investigation site. No one here. Uh, they must have removed they, the they probably tainted the site already. Let's look around. Make sure they don't right. miss anything. So if you don't know what the Witcher is or what a wit what Witchers are, they're basically superhumans, uh, Witchers, and they have this Witcher sense where, like right now, what you see on the screen, we see footprints, so we can investigate these footprints and take leads and investigate things. So let's check this out. Hobnailed boots, multiple sets of prints, ducal guard clearly. Let's see where they went. Okay. All right, so we're gonna follow these footprints along the using our Witcher senses. The lay on the back. Hmm. Oh, wait, what are those? Are those drowners? 
Can y'all mind your business real quick? Oh, he's just gonna run right into battle. Okay, that's what you Alright. Oh, these are scurvers? What the heck are these? Are these like... Hold up. Are these like drowners, but a little tougher? Ew, why they all pokey, though? Let's actually turn one of them on our team real quick. Let me go ahead and just... Come on, be my friend. There you go. Now he's gonna fight for us. Uh, these signs are special magic powers, and uh, we have the fire for... Oh, good! They blow up into, like, spikes. That's nasty. Look at, look at... Oh, ew, what the... F I'm not even gonna front. Shit like that gives me goosebumps. That is disgusting. What's up, bitch? Hey, let me help you out real quick. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck on shit. Move. All right, there we go. So, yeah. So, us witchers, we have, uh, we have special powers. So, we can shoot fire out of our hands. We can command people. Uh, more like Jedi mind tricks. Uh, we can, we can kind of use the force. Uh, there's telekinesis. So, you can, we can do a force push. Get the fuck off. Oh, it, it gross. Uh. Oh, those things are disgusting. I literally... I literally have goosebumps. You probably can't see it, but that shit is nasty. And I appreciate you guys tuning into this episode of Mavitag, obviously, of course. Thank you for coming through to the video. Um, but I wanted to say that I did plan on before when The Witcher 3 came out, I was going to do a full-on walkthrough and realize truly how long the game is. So I really want to try to stick with this. Oh, that's going to explode back up. I realized how long the game actually was, and then I kind of canceled on it. But I'm going to try my hardest to uh, follow through with this one. Uh, if, and if I don't finish it, I will be sure to do an announcement video saying, hey, come through to the live streams. We're going to finish it in the live streams. But I'm going to try to finish it on the channel if I can. And thank you guys again for sticking, it, sticking in and uh, staying Alas, tuned. No. So now uh, we need to do more investigating. We'll see more footprints. We're going to follow these this way. And hopefully, is this where the body, this is where the body landed? See them and a rut made by the hull of a boat. Left recently, I'd say. What I've heard, just from a few, you know, a few little pieces of gameplay detail, is there's some kind of crazy beings here. Whether they're vampires or something else, I'm not too sure. But I know we're gonna pick up a lot of good stuff. Uh, let's do some more investigating down here. But I'm curious as to what this being is. Uh, is it gonna be like a super vampire? Is it gonna be some something that uh, I don't I don't know. I, I'm very, you know, it looks like Slenderman from the drawings, but there's something with a big mouth. There's something. Things could have wings, like, you never know what we're gonna face, so... I'm gonna do a little bit more investigating. All this stuff is just stuff to loot. Oh, I found something! What now? This isn't the site of the murder. We know that. Current brought the body here. Corpse got caught in the nets. Guardsmen pulled it out, put it in a boat, and took it so somewhere. So it flew downstream. Need to find out where. I'd like to look at the corpse before it starts to decompose. The inn. Its patrons must have seen the guardsmen. Which direction they took. We should ask there. Okay. Okay, so yeah. So the body like floated downstream or something. What? Who that? Yeah, someone's watching us. Seems we've got ourselves an audience. You think this surprising? The locals will tell the children of children they do not have yet. Of the day a quartered corpse was pulled from the river. Damn. Uh, oh, the handkerchief. Not linen, but the handkerchief. That's what we found in the water. One thing. Found a handkerchief in the water. Monogrammed DLC. Mean anything to you? Delacroix? It cannot be. Was it he, the beast slave? Why they... Seems so. Why they doing that? Knew him well. Okay. Past. We were close friends once, but our paths diverged. He was a man of extremes. Standing by his companions, no matter the odds. Fighting his foes to the bitter end. Foes? You have a lot of them? He did. But I do not see what that has to do with the beast. Ah, Geralt. You've struck a raw nerve. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Memories of a time long past, to which I'd rather not return now. Dang. It's all good. I understand. We can talk later. Let's go to the tavern. Alright, so we're gonna head through to the tavern. To you, return to court. Barely got back to Tucson. A knight in the service of her illustrious highness knows no rest. Mm, all right. Well, uh, the reason I laughed is because DLC, this is The Witcher 3's DLC. But, uh, yeah, so I thought that was funny. But anyway, uh, so we're going to do a little bit of investigating. Uh, I don't know how long this video is going to go. Obviously, the first part is going to take a little bit longer just for intros and developing the story and everything. Uh, but let's go. We're going to follow Milton to the end, see if... Anybody saw where the body was hidden or what happened with the body? So I gotta see if somebody saw something. Somebody had to have seen something. 
Shut your, yo, don't act all brand new like you don't see the Witcher coming through. Y'all know what it is. Shit. By my troth, could that be the musty scent of fresh pate? Can I get some pate? Not else, sir the Peyrak Peyrin. I see time has not dulled your senses. We would be honored if you would join us. Uh, your companion as well. But why do I not detect even a whiff of crayfish chowder? No soup today, on account of there being no crayfish. But Everybody's very eccentric. I awoke at the crack of dawn, as I do each day. But when I looked up, I beheld a blood red sky. This corpse is precisely why we're here. So the man whom you've invited to join you at the table was summoned from a far off land by her gracious magnificence. He is tasked with tracking and killing the beast. We invited two men to join us, yet since Sir the Peyrak Peyron in temperament is more akin to hare than hound, I surmise the other is the hunter. With whom do we have the pleasure? Yo, don't worry about it, man. My name is Geralt, man. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be an asshole. Milton introduced me already. Shut the fuck up. Like Milton said, I've come from the north at the Duchess's behest to deal with the beast. Yes, yes, but who are you? A knight? A mercenary? A soldier? Mavitag. A witcher, a master Sorry. of his trade. He has questions for you about the beast's most recent victim. I was the one to find the corpse. The sun had just risen when I awoke, sat straight up in my bed. Looked out the window and beheld a sky red as blood. Ask him, please. Or we shall be here till winter. Yeah, first first off, you need a new hat, but uh let's let me just ask uh Yeah, what happened to the victim's body? Need to examine the body. Know where they took it? They ferried it across, then loaded it on a cart and hauled it to a cellar at Corfo Bianco to keep it cool, see? What? Why Corfo Bianco is Baron Russell's estate? When he learns they've turned his cellar into a morgue, he'll set his hounds on them. While you were caliphanting about the north, his vineyard was auctioned off. Who that? Who was that? Woman who just left. Didn't see her before. Didn't notice her walk in either. Doubtless Linnis, the innkeeper's daughter. But hold, Geralt, because this is an outrage. Rossell's vineyard was auctioned off? Inconceivable! It is no secret the Baron had gambling debts up to his ears. It finally came time to collect. His creditors auctioned off his property. The Ducal Chancellery bought it, in fact. Russell now bunks with his brother in Vicar Faro. I told Russell he'd get his comeuppance. How long can one draw on past heroics? His creditors must finally have to find that his promises meant nothing. Such are the times. Today's knights are pale shadows of the heroes of yore. It's true what they say. God sent the beast to punish us for straying from the old past. Shut your straw hat ass up. I'm gonna go look at the body. Thanks for the hospitality. Time I examined the Yeah, corpse. let's go, let's go get on that. Let's go. Oh, Bianco lies a short way from here, near the tawny grounds. Just follow the road and you'll arrive. Not coming with? Oh yeah, duty of some sort calls. Some sort? Her grace bestowed a great honor on me, even before we departed for Venice. I'm to play the hare during this year's game in the palace gardens. When you see me in my costume, you will wet yourself laughing. A little tempted to ask a few questions, but it sounds like a long, complicated story. One involving lengthy digressions into local history and tradition. So, see you later, Milton. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. That's what it sounds like. He's got a bunny outfit. I don't even want to see that. All right, so we chatted with Milton. Uh, go to Corvo Bianco and examine the body kept in its cellar. All right, so we got a bounty board right here. New place of interest. While journeying through the Duchy of Toussaint, the Duchy of Toussaint. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you might encounter some new places of interest. Uh, Hans base, uh, Vintner's contracts, knight errant in distress, a vineyard infestation, and big feet to fill. All right, so there's a bunch of random side shit to do. And of course we have this uh, yeah, Witcher Caravan X4 oh, Gwent Tournament. Hey, shout out to the Gwent players. I just recently, finally decided to take the time to learn how to Gwent. So I'm official Gwent player. Uh, but we're gonna just say skip all that side stuff for right now. 
Uh, and we're gonna head on over to Corvo Bianco and examine the body kept in the cellar. So let's get a move on. Boy, if you don't throw quit throwing rocks, boy. Go. Wow, this game is pretty beautiful. Look at this game. Keep calm. Start no pros. Shut the fuck up. I've waited for this for such a long time. I was trying to get prepared. I was trying to grind through and play The Witcher 3, uh, the main story, Sounds up like to. Fight. Oh, God, another fight. Something's popping off. What is happening? Oh go, shit! Go. Damn it. Killer must still be here. Yo, you good, man? Oh shit! Something bad happened. Oh wow, people are dying oh, left or right. Gotta be. Move, move, yes, yo, that man was leaking. What is down here? Uh, one of these potions enhanced cap makes it so we can see in the dark. So let's get it in. What has happened down here? Hello? This shit's a little creepy. Hold up. Ah, oh, you naked. You saw you at the inn. Hey, why are you naked? Put you. I mean. All right. Well, thank you guys all so much for watching this episode of Map Attack. That was the first part of the Blood and Wine expansion. I had to kind of cut it off real quickly uh, I did just record the second part as well so thank you guys for watching this part be sure to show up to the next part it's getting a little crazy it's getting a little crazy I'm not gonna say much but it's getting crazy so we're gonna find out what happens what, what kind of beast this is what investigation work under it's, it's so much so thank you guys very much for watching if you guys enjoyed it of course be sure to attack that like button all you maps stay rad all you see maps stay fab reversed I fucked up and I will see you guys on that next episode of Mav Attack Month